I came here to be your friend. And I brought lots of toys because I heard you love to play! I came here to be goofy and play, but I also came here to be your friend. Give me a high five if you want to be friends. Yes! We're friends now! When somebody meets Holly for the first time, what do you want them to know? Um, that she's just like any other kid her age. And that not just to go off what she looks like. <laughs> and she throws fits like every other kid her age too. Holly, you want your ball? You want your ball? Get the ball. Oh. No. at me! Ah! What are you doing? Oh my goodness! Whoa! <laughs> I, Yay. I can't believe how hard you're throwing that ball! Good job! You're incredible! <laughs> I heard that you like stuffed bears. Would you like to play with a stuffed bear? No? Forget it then! I heard that you like to play with cool little dolls like this. No? Forget it then! I heard that you like to read books. No? Forget it then! It takes her a minute to warm up to someone, but if she, you know, once you get her to like you and get comfortable, she'll definitely play and be silly yeah. and... Hand her a toy. <laughs> it just takes her a minute. High five if you're having fun. Oh, yes! I'm having fun too. Like when you showed up, she always thinks that someone's gonna take something out and poke her or do something, huh? Because she's so used to being around doctors? Yeah. So how can someone gain her trust and show that they just want to be a friend? Play with her. You give the best high fives. Would you like a double high five? Thank you for giving me a high five. That means we're friends now. Would you like to be friends? Myself. What's going on? Boop! Boop, 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 ah! I'm getting boop so much. Boop! Boop! Yeah, she likes just slamming things down. What's your biggest hope for Holly's future? Um, it's just that people are kind to her. Because, you know, when she goes off to college or just normal school or anything like that, just that people want to be her friend and she feels accepted. Give me a pound if you're having fun. Boop! Boop! We've gone to the park or other places and little kids are like, you know, they look at her and they, she looks different, so they're kind of hesitant to play. But I just want people to know that she's, uh, she's just like any other little kid. She just wants to play, have fun, and you know, I don't want people thinking that that there's something wrong, or I don't know. When you look at Holly, what do you see? Just a beautiful little girl who's happy and loves life, and. Yeah, and that's what I hope everyone sees. I get a lot of comments on her pictures of like when she's smiling and stuff and people will be like, oh, poor girl or something like that when she's clearly happy. Uh-oh, do you see that? Behind you? Ooh! Toys are coming from everywhere. What's it like to have her as a granddaughter? Uh, wonderful, I can't describe it. I always wanted to be a grandma, now I have two. Can Sissy have a kiss? <laughs> <He's being> shy. <laughs> What's it like having two yeah. kids under three? It's busy. I love it. <laughs> what are you most proud of her for? Um, maybe not proud, but amazed. I I'm amazed 
at what she goes through and how she handles it. She gets surgery and the next day she's dancing. I think you're a really cool person and I'm glad we're friends. If you're happy we're friends, let's do a little dance party. Nice dance move. Her life expectancy is normal as long as she gets all of her procedures done on time. What type of procedures? So, Mainly her skull because it doesn't grow, so they have to expand it every so often to make room for her brain to grow. No matter how old she is, it will never grow? Yeah. And so um, once her brain stops growing, she won't really need the surgeries anymore. She's just like any other kid. She really is. And she's proving it right now. Aww. What did you just do to calm Holly down? Oh, I let her watch her favorite show, Mother Goose Club. <laughs> so, usually if she's throwing a fit or she's being mad, that usually does the trick. If people see you in public and have questions, do you want them to approach your family? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would rather them do that than make comments or assume something. What's the best way to start that conversation? Just say hi. Yeah, we've had some people to say hi and tell us how cute she is and that's really nice when people do that because usually they'll try to avoid us or not make eye contact. Just for in the future when she's able to like know what people are doing or saying, I don't want her to feel like not included or that people want to stay away from her. Oh, is that funny? Can I have some? Can I have some? You want it back? No, I want it back. Whenever you give me a high five, I'm going to make a funny sound. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Boop. Moo. Meow. Woof. I wouldn't have ever asked for another daughter. It's hard to explain. Like, I wouldn't wish she had Pfeiffer syndrome. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to change her. Like, if I had to do it over again, I would just want her right just how she is. She'll come crawling across the floor when I come home. Yeah, she gets up. So she, like, he gets home, and he'll go and take a shower, and she follows him and just waits by the door until he gets out. <laughs> he loves having a little girl. Like, he's so proud. Yeah, I feel, I feel protective. Yeah. You know, that's probably the first thing that comes to mind, especially <laughs> hospital or out in public. You know, I don't want people. It's like Sawyer will do something and he's like, no, don't do that. And Hallie does it. And he's like, she can do no wrong. <laughs> it's like, she's perfect. <laughs> oh, she's just like everybody else. I just would, I think that's the scariest thing for her is how um, people are going to react to her, you know, because she does look different. And, um, that's why I was so excited about this interview to get awareness, to get it out there. It's sad right now because when a little kid calls it weird or something, she doesn't understand. So she just kind of smiles at them. But in a couple of years, she will understand. So it's just nice to get her story out there and maybe have other parents educate their kids on differences so that they're not afraid to interact with her. I just want everybody to know that she's just like any other kid. A lot of people just assume that because she looks different that Mentally, she's different as well, but she's just like any other um, one and a half year old. And she just wants to play. She understands everything. Are you two able to communicate without words? Yeah. Yeah, she knows that she wants. She'll go, she'll either run and grab something that she wants or she'll point. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, she's really good at telling us what she wants. If you could give yourself a piece of advice when Holly was first born, what would you say? Uh, just not to, not to overstress or overthink, you know, because it was uh, just a ton of emotions when she was first born. You know, because it's just stuff that no parent can is really prepared for. Not as hard as I anticipated. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. We found out about uh, Pfeiffer syndrome, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Nice high five. Oh, 
Uh-oh, don't do it, don't boop me.